Um, Turkmenistan is one of the few countries where there's no independent human rights organizations within the country. Um, in Turkmenistan, citizens have the right to assemble only with the permission from the security services. Such gatherings are typically allowed only at official events, which involve employees of state institutions and students from schools and universities. All other assemblies are strictly prohibited. Furthermore, the country's authorities consistently exert pressure on human rights activists who are compelled to operate outside of Turkmenistan. They employ special services using their agents to wage an information war. Turkmenistan conducts repression against its own citizens who express their opinions outside the country, particularly in Turkey and in Russia. This was notably the case with Azad Isakov, a Turkmenistan citizen who frequently criticized the aforementioned authorities and was essentially abducted in Russia and forcibly deported to Turkmenistan. Additionally, activist Bayram al aliyev was attacked in Turkey, where he was struck by a car, sustaining severe injuries and pelvic bone fractures. This young man was left disabled as a result of extremist actions exerted by Turkmenistan's special services and their affiliates within the country. In 2023, Turkmenistan's authorities extradited the blogger Farhat Meyman Kuliyev following the extradition Farhat was placed in a detention center where he endured the severe where he endured severe and brutal tortures. According to uh, information, Farhat was sentenced for 18 years in the prison called Abadandabe. Additionally, we have received reports indicating that Farhat had multiple fractures, including a skull base fracture, and he did not get any medical assistance. Recently, other activists such as Rafshan Klichev and others were also deported back to Turkmenistan. Human rights activists who received a threatening calls from relatives of both former and current presidents, including threats of physical and abduction of their minor children. The authorities have effectively destroyed private property belonging to human rights defenders inside Turkmenistan to intimidate the local population. Women provide information about women's rights violations in Turkmenistan are subjected to persecutions by the authorities. Representatives of law enforcement agencies summon these women for interrogations, uh, threatening them with imprisonment and the loss of parental rights. After being warned not to let information about women's rights violations leave Turkmenistan, one of the human rights activists was struck by a car on a pedestrian crossing. Another human rights activist was subjected to beatings by neighbors. In particular, in the city of Turkmenabad, five minors beat a nine-year-old girl because her grandmother cooperates with human rights organization. The girl required hospitalization and subsequent long-term rehabilitation. Thank you, remarks. Um, so the recommendations for our countries would obviously, um, since Turkmenistan is such an isolated country, and over the years it has, built, has been building up to a, a very severe case, um, it, it is very important to hold Turkmenistan accountable for the atrocities my country is committing. So this is a platform, a dialogue, and the presence of uh, delegates allows for us to spread this information to international community, communities because obviously there are major conflicts around the world, um, but this, is, this also provides a reason for Turkmenistan leaders to utilize their absolute power to exert force on its population and oppress its citizens because it's so isolated and there's not a lot of um, information coming in and out. Um, so therefore the presence of everyone here and spreading this to international communities is vital and it provides a hope for these people who are pressing, who are struggling and who need this hope. So thank you.